grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony. This is obviously a very momentous occasion, and uh, so let's get started. I'd like to first introduce, first of all, let me uh, introduce myself. My name is Matt Rienzo. I'm one of the associate athletic directors here. Um, now I'd like to introduce our director of athletics, Patricia Thomas. Good morning, everyone. I am absolutely overjoyed. I, I don't think I was as happy um, announcing the birth of my first child as I am today. Uh, this is just a, a momentous, glorious, fabulous occasion. Uh, one that, again, just marks a momentous goal for the university as we continue to to strive for excellence here at the University of the District of Columbia. And in this season of Thanksgiving, I, I really want to take an opportunity to, to thank many, many people who were responsible for this project. Um, and, and that certainly starts with our Board of Trustees, and I do want to recognize Trustee Shelton and Trustee Buda, who are here with us this morning. Absolutely, the unfailing support of, of Dr. Alan Sessons. Thank you so much. And then certainly uh, a vice president who uh, I, I value very, very much. Uh, she gets things done on this campus. She means what she says and she says what she means. And, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for me to work with her on, on many occasions. But I'm particularly grateful to Barbara Jumper. I do want to also acknowledge Bowie Gridley Architects, Councilman Hunsaker, which is a, a leading manufacturer and designer of, of natatoriums and, and pools across the country, um, including the Olympic uh, facility at the University of Texas. And so I'm very, very proud that that organization was part of, of bringing this project to fruition. And, and certainly, uh, I do want to thank Alan Walsh, uh, a member of our board, Jumper's team, who really was the project manager and, and saw this project from beginning to end. Sarinda Connor, who is here. Sarinda, thank you so much for all of your help. And certainly Paddock Pools, FEI Construction, uh, again, organizations who made this project possible for us. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Aloha Pool team as well. Uh, last but not least, I, I want to thank Mike Riley. Michael, where are you? <laughs> Mike Riley was actually the day-to-day -day, um, athletic department representative for all the organizations that I just previously mentioned. He was able to coordinate literally everything, all the nuts and bolts, and I mean literally the nuts and bolts of putting this project together. Michael just could not do it without you. Thank you so much. opportunity to introduce to you Lauren Fuse, who is our aquatics director and will be coaching our men's and women's swimming programs when we get those going forward. Thank you so much. Since the beginning of October, Lauren has worked tirelessly to, to make this day happen and to really get the pool ready uh, for swimmers to enjoy. And, and so again, I'm just grateful to all of you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here with us. This is just a wonderful, wonderful occasion. I'm extremely proud of the University of the District of Columbia and what we've been able to accomplish and recognize today. And at this point in time, I'm going to ask Barbara Jumper to come up and make a few remarks. Barbara? Thank you so much, Patricia. I just wanted to say a few things. We've already thanked so many people today who are here. Uh, some of them are not in attendance. Um, this project started over uh, two years ago. And uh, while it would have been my um, preference that this thing would have been done a long time ago, uh, we wanted to make sure we did it absolutely right. And so we took the time that was needed to make this project of uh, the uh, flagship project of the campus, uh, in addition to the Plaza Day. But we have so many projects underway right now. We are extraordinarily happy about what we've done here. Um, we basically revitalized this, um, this um, environment where
where we have a, a full-fledged uh, collegiate environment for swimming, and the auditorium is definitely going to be one of our signature projects. Um, I wanted to thank um, Eric Thompson, Sherry Kwashi, we already mentioned Alan Walsh, uh, Mr. Surrender Kana, he's here, and um, we talked about uh, FBI construction. We want to also thank them because they actually were the general contractor on this project, and you've mentioned them already. Um, I'm very thrilled that this project has uh, come to uh, end, and we will soon be uh, breaking or cutting the ribbon and opening the doors to all of our students, faculty, staff, and the community who's been very patient waiting on this project. So we're very excited to have them be a part of this uh, experience. So I don't have a lot to say, a lot to add. I think you see the work speaks for itself. We want to just encourage you to come and take advantage of it, and we're very thrilled to be at this part of our um, project completion today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pat. I'd now like to ask University President Alan Sessoms to come up and say a few words. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad so many of you came out to see a project that was probably uh, much more presentation and more painful for Pat Thomas than any of her kids. <laughs> uh, she and Barbara Jump are really shepherding this along. The community has been tremendous. I bumped into somebody a few days ago. I won't say who it was, but a case Street lawyer who already was delusional. He said, you know, I was swimming in the pool last week. <laughs> Not necessarily right. But there's an enthusiasm about this project that I think is extraordinary. It's one of the things of building a great university and building a great university into the community. We want to be here for our neighbors. We want to be a part of their lives. And this is a major piece of that. The Plaza Deck is one. The student center is another. Our athletic program, writ large, is a big deal. The idea is to transform the image of this institution into a place that everybody wants to be a part of. And this is pretty hot stuff. I mean, I can swim. Not that fast, but this is pretty... Maybe I'll use that side. <laughs> but what's nice is that it's flexible and it's for everybody in the community. I just am delighted that our students, our faculty, our staff, our neighbors will have a chance to swim and participate in programs in one of the finest aquatic athletic facilities on the East Coast. I'm just delighted to see you. Thank you. Before we proceed with the ribbon cutting, I would be remiss if I, I didn't acknowledge um, other members of the athletic department staff, or particularly our senior staff. They are among the finest in the country. And our coaching staff have been very, very supportive and very patient through this entire project. But there is one individual who was actually here when the original facility was built and managed the uh, aquatics facility here for many, many years. Uh, and I really would like to thank and acknowledge Thunder Lane. Thunder, thank you so much for taking the time. Before we move along to the most exciting part, which is the ribbon cutting, I'd like to first uh, recognize the fact that Miss UDC is here, Dion Hunt. And as always, if you're interested in swim programs, uh, the rules and regulations, the hours of operation for the, the natatorium, um, check out our website, udcfirebirds.com. Uh, for all that information and more. So be sure you uh, look at that for, for all your updated news. Now I'd like to invite everyone, uh, President, Ms. Jumper, Patricia to come up. Okay, can we count to three? One, two, three. 